don't understand it. Worked perfectly well this morning. You've been pressing that button for the past ten minutes. There's obviously something wrong with it, and it isn't going to fix itself. Perhaps I should give him another ring. It's a complicated bit of machine. It's going to need an engineer, and they're going to send one out tomorrow. I hate being beaten, especially by a machine. Tough. I wanted to take you to Paddy's. I can't do that if I can't move you. I don't mind not going to Paddy's. Don't be daft. Do you good to get out? It's not a problem staying in. Right. Just have to lift you myself. Now you're talking daft. You're going to do yourself a mischief. We will go some other night. No. We're going tonight. Who are you calling? Mind your own. <laughs> Oh, I feel a bit stupid. Not as much as I do. <laughs> hey, we'll have less of that. You see, the heist wasn't working. Well, it wasn't when I rang you. Then a couple of minutes ago, I looked at the instructions, and it's uh, it's this. Emergency stop button. Must have hit it by mistake. Well, at least you'll know what to do if it happens again. Oh, don't worry. There won't be a next time. It's all logged in here. And on my daily checklist. You, well, well, there's so much to get used to, isn't it? Bell. Uh, pearl, pearl. Oh, uh, well, I won't let it beat me. She doesn't like being beaten. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> but it does mean you've had a wasted journey. Uh, no, you haven't. I thought once I've got him spruced up, you could help me take him over to your place. Yeah. I told him not to bother. I can come round another evening. You are coming today. I have made a lemon drizzle cake especially. And that's the signature dish. People have crossed continents to sample it. Ah, he's exaggerating. Well, it was a runner-up at the Hotland District Show, 2007. Yeah, well, that's true. And I should have won. I think the judges were nobbled. No, this is bitter. Bitter lemon! <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking forward to you coming all week. I I'm in need of some intelligent conversation. I'm sorry? Well, if it's not babies, it's bovine mistartis. Mistitis. Whatever. Anyway, you'll be among friends, so you've nothing to worry about. Yeah, that's told you, sunshine. <laughs> Marlon's been going on about cots. Bit early, isn't it? That's what I said, but no one's interested in my opinion. Well, Marlon wants the sturdier wooden model, whereas Ron is more inclined to something a little bit more contemporary. Where is Rona, anyway? She's gone to bed early. She's worn out. It's worn out for some. You've been dead grumpy all night, and you haven't touched your lemon drizzle. What's up with you? If you haven't noticed, there's something a bit different about me nowadays, Pearl. You don't have to be sarky. You're with friends, you know. There's no need to feel... Embarrassed. Stupid, a bit like a freak. That's a terrible thing to say. He's just getting used to being back home. <sighs> Doesn't help being the number one topic of conversation. Then we'll just ignore you. Let's go back to talking about cops. Fill your boots. 